The control point, used by the initial drilling operation, can now be used by subsequent operations in the sequence, allowing the tool to move to the same clearance position above the IPW for each operation and preventing a rapid movement into the previously drilled hole. As a result, you can achieve better control for entry into the hole, improve machining quality, and reduce tool wear. In this example, we have operations that pre-drill and drill a hole. The first is a pilot drilling operation. Notice that the IPW extends above the part. The rapid move stops safely above the IPW at the specified control point, drills to the depth of the pilot hole, and then retracts. The next operation is a deep drilling operation that uses a machine feature control point. If we set the in-process workpiece to use 3D, generate, and display IPW, we can see the tool rapids from the clearance plane into the pilot hole before drilling, which is not desirable. The new control point option, Use Initial, prevents the rapid movement into the pilot hole by using the control point specified in the initial operation. When we regenerate the tool path, display the IPW, and play, we can see the tool no longer rapids into the pilot hole. Instead, the tool rapids to the control point above the IPW, followed by a feed rate motion into the pilot hole to the start position, drills, and retracts. Use Initial may be used for all subsequent operations. Again, we can select Use Initial to specify the control point used in the first operation. When we select Play, we can see the tool rapids to the control point safely above the IPW, feeds into the hole to the start position, drills, and retracts. 